Hello, this is Maria. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And this is Monday, November the 1st, 2021. And I would like to introduce to you an exclusive bundle of products available tomorrow, November the 2nd. Now, this is an early release from the catalog coming out in January. And some of the products that you see here will not be available after Christmas. So if you want to get any of these, get it tomorrow because they will go fast. Okay, the collection, the Eden's Garden collection. My man, I love it. Um, the colors tend to be mainly soft succulent and evening evergreen uh, with some gold in it. Well, let me show you some of the products here. Let's start with the stamp sets. This is the stamp and the stamps are the distinctive ones, which means that it has these variations in color and you don't need to color them. The dies that you see here, these are the dies. They don't necessarily cut out anything in here, uh, but they complement the uh, this lovely uh, bundle very, very nicely. Now, let me show you what they look like when they're cut. And I kind of cut them in white, basic white cardstock and put them on black so that you could see them. Oop, they kind of got a little crumpled here. But this is what they what they look like. And they're lovely for just uh, providing some interest in your card. Or you can even make a wreath with them. And I will show you a sample of that later. Okay, so there's the dies, the stamp. Now the paper. Let me just show you the paper. The paper is 12 by 12. And as I mentioned, the colors tend to be soft succulent and evening evergreen. Do you see the gold in that? And here's the other side of that. And here's some more paper with gold. The other side. Love this one. This has got to be my favorite. So there's gold pattern on one side and it's plainer on the other. You can do a lot with these papers. And I have made samples for you and then we'll make a card together. Now, also in this collection is cotton paper. Now Stampin' Up! carried cotton paper a number of years ago and we made flowers from them. So you can still make flowers from these. They die cut very well, they punch very well, and you can put them on cards and use the dies to make a wreath and that lightens your card up very nicely. So, and it's in these two colors and there's 10 sheets. So we'll put that aside. The other item in the bundle are these gems, and you'll see that there are round ones and they're cherry cobbler. Who would have thought that would be an accent? And then there's these marquee ones. Lovely. We'll use some of that today. Okay, uh, let me show you a couple of samples before uh, we get into making our card samples. I'll show you a couple that I've made. There's this one. And what I did was I did make a wreath with the smaller die. Let's get it out here. With this one. And basically what I did was I die cut two of them, cut them in half, and then made them into a circle. Not the best. I was really experimenting with the dies when I did this. It's it's okay, but I could have done better. And I used the gold foil as accents to pick up the gold in the designer paper. Now here's another sample. It's a it's a little ornament for the tree, so it could be used at, at Christmas time. So I used the ornament dies. And here I embossed, gold embossed on soft succulent and put that lovely designer paper. 
this is the sentiment panel and I will show you things that various things you can do with that. So these are a couple of samples. I'll show you more as we go along. Now the card that I'd like to make with you is this one. It's a book fold and I have made this card before in one of my previous videos. And it is evening evergreen with some soft succulent. I use the lovely designer paper and I stamp the image. Now there's no dye for the flower, so you need to fussy cut that if you're up to it. Okay, here's the supplies. And I write little notes to myself with the dimensions because I don't always remember. We'll put that there. So we have a piece of evening evergreen which is four and a quarter by 11 and we score it at five and a half and at seven and then we fold it back like this to make the book card fold and for the front we have a piece of gold foil and some designer paper that goes over that. And then for this part, this and there. Now I see my little ribbon has fallen on the floor here. So I think I'm gonna to have to cut another strip because I don't see it. Best laid plans of men and mice, right? Okay, where'd my scissors go? There they are. Now this is the evening evergreen organza ribbon. And that's gonna go over here. And then the bow on top of that. And um, I'll, I'll stamp one of the flowers, but I have the two already stamped and fussy cut. We'll put that on the front. And then for the inside, here's the basic white and the soft succulent that goes on the inside. All right, let's just uh, put these together. Use some Tombow glue. if it will work there we go i think it's it's early morning and it doesn't want to there we go it doesn't want to go i don't blame it it was pretty dark this morning the clocks don't go back until next weekend and then it'll be even darker in the morning i was up at 5 30 and man it was like the middle of the night even 7 30 it was still dark well there's talk that this coming weekend might be the last time that the clocks change. And I will be very happy about that because ah, it just upsets your whole being when um, when the clocks change in the, in the spring and in the fall. Now we'll add these two together. I know there are some provinces that do not change their clocks in the spring or the fall. And I think Ontario is going to be one of those this year, after this year. Now notice I have not adhered this part yet because I want to add the ribbon first. Oops, a little bit of glue went up there. Okay, now I'm going to add the ribbon. And to do that, I'm going to use some um, double-sided tape. Where the ribbon is going to be.
just looking for my silicone mat. Here it is. I should have that underneath here. There we go. Okay, now I'll take that off. So this designer paper and the gems, um, I believe the cotton paper will not be available after uh, after Christmas. So up until the end of the year. After that, okay, did my ribbon disappear? Oh, here it is. Okay, do you ever have or uh, make uh, embellishments or the main part, you die cut it, you're ready to put it on the card and it's disappeared on you. That happens a lot more than I would like. And it's most frustrating. And some of the times it's actually fallen into under the floor, but a lot of times it's fallen into the garbage and then, man, you have to start all over again. Anyway, so I left this part open so that I could put the ribbon behind here and hide it. So now I can add some Tombow and close this up. And my bow. I will add this with a glue dot. I don't know if any of you noticed, but the glue dots are a little bit different. Usually they're on this part of the paper, but in this package, and I don't know whether this is a trend, they're on the outside of the paper here rather than on the roll. So there we have now I'll stamp the image for you although I have stamped a couple for you already so here is the stamp it is a distinctive stamp and I'm going to use soft succulent ink here it is now as you know with the distinctive stamps you don't want to put too much ink on them now I have re-inked this stamp or the ink pad and we'll just see what it looks like there we go that's that's what it's supposed to look like So there's no coloring, which is nice. And then you would fussy cut it. And I've done two of them. So we'll go back to the card and we'll get some dimensionals. And I'll put dimensionals on both of them. You say, well, how do you know which one is up? And I always kind of look for these little dots and the berries that, and these come out the bottom. You can go do it this way if you like. Well, that kind of looks okay too. Let's do one up. We'll do it this way. And a little bit. Now I've also die cut a few of the, um, the single small um, leaf die in gold foil. Okay. I want to make sure.
sure they're both the same way. And then I'll just overlap them. And I never like to have them straight. There we go. Now, these are the little ones that I mentioned. They're the single, the small single die. And I've die cut three of them. And here's where my silicone pad comes into play. And I use some glue and a sponge. one there one there I need a little bit more here and I'm going to put some embellishments in the center but I want to do the sentiment first and we'll just put this away for now we'll be bringing it out again Now this is the sentiment strip. It can be fairly long. Um, if I was to put it across here, um, I would find it's way too long. Now what I did with this one, I actually cut it here, cut a piece off and then rejoined the ends. Now what you can do is cut one end off totally and notch it and then lay it here as well. So I think I'd like to try that. and lay that down here. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment on there, which is hello there. And we'll use my, now you can use Evening Evergreen. I'm using Soft Succulent. Perfect. And I'm going to use dimensionals on the back of that as well. Now, if you don't have dimensionals, that's fine too. Could have put the flowers up a little bit higher. There we go. Now, I think rather than break open the embellishments, I'm going to use these. Sorry about the crackle. These are the gilded gems that are in the annual catalog. And I'm not gonna put quite as many on. I think I'll just put one in the center here and one over here. And, and one over here. Rule of threes. Now you can put more on if you wish. 
Now let's finish up the inside. Now I have done a little stamping on the inside and what I've done is I've taken the single stamp I haven't put any writing on the inside. I've just, that's all I've done. I should have done it this way. Well, I can have that coming from the top. No big deal. There we go. So there's the book card. That's the one that I've just made. Here is the sample. So that is one card that is made with the um, garden, the Eden's Garden Collection. Um, Okay, now the other card I want, I wanted to show you how to use just the dies. So that's this card. And there is a bit of stamping here, but this is the card. Um, it is white on white. I've got it upside down. There we go, white on white. And so this is like a basic, thick, basic white. And I've got a white layer on top of that. And then I've die cut two of the large ovals and one of the smaller ovals. You can do two if you want. And then some gold foil leaves again. And this um, sentiment piece. Now I've, I've pretty well done everything because I just wanted to show you how to put the card together. So here is the thick basic white base and what I've done this is the um, the four by five and a quarter layer and it is die cut with the uh, tasteful texture um, embossing folder and then I have two of these die cuts and I just put one on top of the other or you can do one and then this in the center and then we'll put these around the sentiment piece. So let's get going putting that together. It's really very elegant. You can make it for um, a wedding, anniversary, special birthday, and you can change the color of the wreaths or the oval die cuts. I was thinking about making one white, one gold, but it just didn't look right. Now for these, I'm going to bring back my, my mat here and you can do it. We'll do one with Tombow and one with the sponge, but I'll lay it down here and we'll just do just a little bit of just on the leaves going off camera here. You don't need much. may take a while to stick down but at the same time I don't want it totally flat either oops that's stuck there and with this one I will do it with my sponge get that out of the way
Let's see which way I'm going to need more than that. I'm being stingy with the glue. Okay. You want to keep this sponge in an airtight, airtight container, and that way you can use it forever and a day. It does last quite a while. And lay this on top. Now you can offset it a little bit, and I think I will. And just wait for it to dry. And I'm hoping that it'll dry in an uneven manner so that it gives it a 3D uh, look. And I think I will use my sponge on this one as well. Well, I think on my sample, I used two of these. Yeah, we'll let that dry. Now for the sentiment piece, what I've done is I have gold embossed. Let's celebrate everything. And I've already done that. So we can add that with dimensionals. And I have three of these again, and this time I'm just going to add a little tombow to the back. And again, I like to not lay it flat, but it's entirely up to you. And we'll put some gold gems. I'm just gonna put two on there. I think that's, that's enough. And then I'll just put some basic white on the inside. And I'm not doing any stamping. I'm just putting an extra layer of basic white on the inside. I like to keep my cards as uh, clean as possible. In other words, I don't do much in the way of sentiments or words on the inside. I will do that when I determine what the purpose of the card is going to be. So there is the card. So that is made with pretty well the dies so that you can see what the dies look like. So we've made this card, which is the book card. And we've made this card with the dies. So let me show you some other samples that I promised you. Here's another one that I made, probably one of my favorite ones. Here's another one with a fold. And this one, I promised you that I would show you the wreath that I made with the oval. And here it is. You can make it into a Christmas one. Now, this will have to be the subject of an of another video 
um, because it requires four die cutting, four of the e in evening evergreen, four in soft succulents, and I've actually die cut. I don't know if you can see. This is the cotton paper, and that makes the wreath the card a little bit lighter. Okay, so there we have it, the Eden Garden Collection uh, by Stampin' Up. Uh, it is available for purchase tomorrow. The stamp set and the dies and the paper. I've got so much stuff here, I can't find anything. Anyway, so the stamp set, the dies, and the paper available tomorrow. And remember that the paper, the cotton paper, the designer paper, and the embellishments will not be carried over and will be available while supplies last. So if you want this collection, uh, let me know. Um, give me an email, uh, text me, um, and let me know that you would like it or go to my online store and I'll put the address in the description of the blog. And if you'd like to become a member of my team, then uh, let me know as well. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, the cards that I made. Uh, leave any comments and uh, subscribe to my channel. I am hoping to be able to do live YouTubes and I need a thousand subscribers and I'm almost there. So subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. So thanks very much for, for uh, watching and have a good day.